What's up guys, Nightingale here, and welcome to another video. Today we are talking about the new Selective Summon from Episode 3, 10, 10. Some of you will not be able to get this right away, and some of you have been waiting for this for quite a while. I am one of those people who will not be doing this right away. Just because once I saw the heroes, I am not excited. Unfortunately, this is actually a very bad Selective Summon, in my opinion, for where it's at. You would have thought there would have been some cooler heroes, but there's still some good picks in here. It's just, it's not, oh my gosh, amazing. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to talk about the five-star heroes. That's the only thing we're in here and actually care about. The artifacts are cool, but here's the thing with selective summons, if it works still like the original, you can only get the hero or the artifact. You cannot get both. So don't try to waste a good pull just because you're trying to get both an artifact and a hero. It won't work. So, playing the rules as if this was your first 1-4 um, selective summon, we're going to look at the heroes only. So, the heroes are Shu, Urvalen, Flan, Mort, Politis, Etta, Senya, Ilyanov, Euphine, Cecilia, Alencia, and Bomb Model Kana. Now, by process of elimination, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about quickly about each unit, and then we will talk about who and where you want to summon for. So, in the last selective ticket video, you guys kind of, some of you weren't very happy that I didn't give my opinion and tell you all the intera interacting facts about why you should pull this and all of this stuff. Well, it's because that was more my opinion. It was 6 a.m. And two, it's really about me giving you just some basic info to figure out what can you process and come out and figure out with your account. I can't make the decision for you. You guys have to make the decision to figure out, is this good for your account? Is this not good for your account? I can give you suggestions. And in this case, I'm going to tell you a few absolutely nots. And the rest is going to be up to you and how you want to play your game. So let's dive into it. All right. So everybody is getting their corresponding artifact in this. Again, if this is, this is going to work exactly as the original one, don't worry about the artifacts. Anytime the artifact shows up, just next pull. Uh, the cool thing is, is you're going to hope there's some good four-star artifacts, so that's honestly what you're hoping for, is that you get a couple good four-star artifacts with your pull. Uh, it's the normal uh, RGB four-star heroes, don't expect anything too amazing out of that. So, here we go. First one, Shu. Absolutely not. There's no reason for any of you completing content other than just for hero collection purposes. She was supposed to be a Ravi counter, well, that didn't work out too well. She just recently got a buff, but she is decent. But this is an absolutely not off the Selective Summon. There are better units than this. Next up, Urvalen. Probably not. You probably are going to be wanting to have somebody else on out of Selective Summon. Yes, he's a nice thief. He can technically do the Banshee one-shot. He can technically one-shot some of your units. But out of everyone here, he's probably one of the worst, best choices if you absolutely got screwed across RNG and that's all you saw show up. One of the better options out of here is Flan. Flan is a great support unit for your teams. You could technically use her in your Wyvern team, but let's be real. You're clearing 3-10-10, you've probably got Wyvern 13 on lockdown. If not, I don't know how you luck sacked your way to 3-10-10. Uh, so, we're not going to necessarily worry about Flan. She is a okay pick if you just haven't been around with her banner or you haven't gotten lucky and pulled her from a daily. Do keep that in mind. Next up, probably my choice out of Selective Summon is Mort. He is a decent knight. Um, he's getting his buff tomorrow. I'm recording this video right now before the patch, so we don't actually have anything done, but he is somebody I am considering for this. Um, we're going to look at Mort as an option. A lot of you, if you didn't happen to get her off this recent Mystic Banner, is Politis. Politis is a fantastic PvP unit. Keep this in mind. PvP unit. And she is great for stopping CR pushing units or, um, I believe it says, um, where is it? It is, uh, reduces combat readiness effect by 50%. And she activates it, um, every two turns. 
and therefore she can increase her combat readiness up to 30 percent yeah when a tranquility when an enemy uses a non-attack skill and she can prevent CR push. So this is very, very good, especially for heals. She can stop them in their tracks. So Politis is definitely an option out of here if you, where you are in the game, if you did not get her. Etta is an imprint for Solitaria um, and a book holder. Other than that, she's not very good off the selective summon. I wouldn't waste it on her, especially with other choices. Senya. Now this is somebody worth taking a look at. This is a Stray's counter if you can build her properly. If you can get her HP to be the highest HP unit on the field and have the highest attack, she can screw Stray's over. Definitely a cool knight. Um, if I didn't have her, this might have been a pick that I would have taken. I know actually somebody who will be going for this pick specifically on their account. So she's probably one of the better picks on here. Definitely would recommend her if you don't have her and you get to her and you can pull her. Cool. Unfortunately, this isn't a selective summon you guys get to re-roll for. Once you go into 3 10, 10 this is it. This is committed. You are in the you are you are in the game. Next up is another good option. Good open loosely option. Ilyanov is a really unique fire offensive knight. Keep in mind she's an offensive knight for PvP. Doesn't really have any real PvE aspects. She can be used in a few um, hunts to make uh, to to use the crit rate buff or the crit damage buff. So it's she can do that. Um, worth the selective summon? If it's between Ilyanov and some of the absolutely knows, yes. If it is a um, if it's a first choice, maybe lock her in and see what else you get. Euphine, while she is a great Banshee one-shot unit, she's got some interesting things in her kit that makes her good, but I wouldn't recommend her as a selective summon. You're honestly, I'm more interested in her artifact than I am her. Here's the thing. She's gear intensive. She will need a lot of gear to be great. You can use her in against uh, ice units. It's fantastic for that. But again, worth a selective summon other than collector's value? Maybe not. Cecilia is another interesting fire knight. Uh, I believe her one of the cool things that I actually like about Cecilia is the fact that she has the AoE provoke for all enemies, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't see this too often in people's kits. So I kind of like her for that, but does that make her selective summon? No, she's definitely one of the uh, I would rather have versus some of the absolutely nots. There you go. There's your answer. The Holy Grail. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Alencia is great, but she's going to start her banner this week. So don't use your selective summon for her right now. Um, and honestly, is she worth a selective summon? As somebody who avidly uses her in quite a bit and has a very good Alencia build, I can't necessarily say absolutely. If it's collector's value, you like her kit, and you want to deal with a little bit of RNG that's baked into it, sure. Can you ruin some people's days with her? Absolutely. I showed that even today on stream. And then an absolutely not is Bomb Model Kana. Why? Because if we come right here, we make this bigger for just a second, we hide this window, and you come right here to your connections. Who is that? For free. Absolutely not. I don't care if you want the dupe. This is a absolutely not. So please do not waste your selective summon on Bomb Model Kana. So if I had to say the absolutely nots are definitely Kana and Shu. Urvalen is probably would go at the next of absolutely nots, but he's not a horrible pick. Then, if I had to say the probably the best characters on here, I'd probably take Senya. I would definitely take um, Politis, depending on if you don't have them and you're wanting to get into PvP and that's your next kind of step. Mort, I'm very curious about because I would like to see him built. And I want to work on trying to figure out his build, but I can't say right now that I could confirm into this. Etta is probably an absolutely not, um, unless this is your only unit you're missing, but chances are it's not. Euphine... <clears throat> That's tough. Euphine's a tough, a tough swing here. 
And then Cecilia, uh, if you really want her, cool. But, and then I'd obviously put Alencia in at the, um, up towards the higher end of the better units. Better units. But, overall, the list is actually pretty garbage. I was expecting better units overall. Um, it is pretty sad to see where where they pulled these from and with all the really good very notable episode two and episode three characters this was the best you came up with sure Shu and Urvalen have a pretty prominent role in episode two sure Urvalen has a pretty prominent role with Flan and Mort and Politis in episode three Senya in episode three Ilyanov in episode three Euphine in episode they're all all these are definitely episode three characters but then you go back and you look at Violet you look at Luluka. You think about Lilibet. You think about a lot of these season two characters that are just getting skipped over. But again, they don't want to let all the good units out. Unfortunately, there is no god tier pick like Sigrid or back in the day Vildred or Ravi off of the original selective summon. So we have to be very careful with what we deal with today. So that's my opinion. Keep in mind. For those of you who are like, this is horrible information, not enough information. I'm not going to tell you how to build them. I'm not going to tell you how to use them. This is my opinion off of the Selective Summon and how I'm playing and where I'm going. So, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you guys out. And I'll see you all in the next one.